Much better. So yeah, we'll get this started. And um, I, yeah, I hope people will realize that I messed up the time. But it, one way or another, if we don't have anybody to join us right now, it's going to be great because it's recording. And we're going to um, be able to put it up later. So before I get in, I'm so glad you're here, Jennifer. I feel like I haven't seen you in forever, and it's going to be nice to kind of re-energize with the She Breathes um, mission, and I want to talk more about that. But first, I like to give a little bit of digital marketing good juice um, before I get started. With your permission, I will go ahead and share my screen. Oh, please, yes. I'll, I'm always learning. So I wanted to start talking about, um, I know it's so early and we haven't even had Halloween yet, but I'm all about creating the content calendars and, and having control because with digital marketing and with sales and planning, I find that if you have a calendar set up or some kind of a grid or something visual, I'm a visual person. So if there's something there that I can go with, I don't feel as overwhelmed I feel like I'm in control of what I want and what I'm going to be doing. And then there's no questions. And so I wanted to share that with you and with um, people who will listen to this recording later. And so um, do you see my screen right now? It says, what are you going to send? I do. Yeah. So this is part of a webinar and in live workshop that I'll be running like mostly in November, um, either on my um through my group, through the Rise Above group, or in places. Uh, I think I'll be doing one in New Bedford in November for the Groundwork co-working space. And it's, and it's just how to really use these tools that we have, like I said, to keep away overwhelmed, to feel really in control, and to be able to measure what you're doing. So instead of just throwing, of course, this is email marketing because it's my favorite thing, just throwing things out there, be very, very um, deliberate in what we're doing. So these are the different ideas, right? There's so many things. People are like, I don't know what to send. There's so many ideas on what to send. So these are a bunch of them. Gift certificates, free shipping, thank you message, fundraising um, reminders. Um, so that are some, those are some ideas. You guys can take those notes down, freeze the screen right there. And here's the main thing, and I know that uh, people who work with me know this is what I say, three sections, right? In this case, it's a picture, something that communicates what you're doing. And I know you introduced me to pexels.com, where it has, you use, always have beautiful images. Um, a paragraph or a resource, and then a call to action. Sign up now, get free shipping, contact me to um, make your appointment. Three things, don't go all newslettery. Nobody wants to scroll, nobody has time for that around, especially starting in a month or so, right? So <clears throat> keep it simple. <clears throat> and then I like this part, which is um, for whatever is happening, you want to have something based on time. So you want to have an announcement, then have a reminder, and then have that last chance reminder. And I know you're really good at that, Jen, when you do not newsletters or your emails for sure, but also on your Facebook posts. Okay. And I think that's really important, right? Because you've got to keep, like people forget or they go by or they you missed it that day. Right? Because you don't. I know now Facebook, you don't, not everyone sees everything you post. Right. Especially on your page, especially right. on your page. If you're in a group, more likely. And if people comment on it, more likely. Okay. So, um, so that, and this is, I'm just going to show you guys this really quickly because see if you can see that. If you have some kind of a calendar and you are sh visual like I am, this just makes it so easy. All right, the first one, the announcement is goes this day, then a week later, the reminder, and then the last chance is going to go out the day before the event, right? Super easy. And then the social media posts uh, tie into that. So I think that's, did I want to share this last slide with you as well? And these are just different ones, right? That would be a different one. Get people to sign up, share a reminder, last chance. So that's where I'm talking about this month is email marketing, getting things ready for... Um, I have to figure out where to stop the sharing. Here we go. So that. So I hope that was helpful to anybody who signed, listens to this or even to you. What I'm going to look for now is your official welcome. I'm going to read the official welcome to Jennifer, who I met Jennifer 
two years ago? Is that, is, was it your year? So two yeah. years ago in September, I remember, and I was looking for a new tribe. And I don't remember, oh, I think it was Eric and Anali was teaching yoga. And I'm like, oh, she's going to be in Walpole. I've got to check out this place. And it, my sense that first time, and it's been every time I go there is the same, is that you're attracting like the most coolest, interesting people. And I've learned so much. So I'm really excited for people who are not familiar with you and what you do to, to learn more about you today. So the official bio is Jennifer is a mom on a mission. She's on a mission to create a better world for our daughters, a world in which young women are taught the importance of their own self-worth, treated equally and recognized for their individual gifts and contributions without judgment. And then I'll ask you more in a few minutes, Jennifer, about your journey, but I love this part of what you sent to me. It's no secret that women need strong connections with other women in order to feel whole. Studies suggest that powerful female friendships have a measurable, measurable impact on all overall health. And when women bond together, they make a meaningful difference in their own lives and in the lives of others. And that's exactly what I've seen happen through She Breathes. Like, tell me more about, like, how did your vision start and how is, you know, is it matching what you wanted or is it more or less? Like, how are things um, going with it all? It's amazing. So, um, I, we've been in, we've been here in Walpole for two years. It, it last September, uh, September 6th, I think we had an anniversary. And it's interesting because I think the concept was manifesting over time for probably the, bat, the past 10 years. Um, and I, most people know I have another business. I always say that feeds my family, but this concept, um, and now the community we're creating and building is what feeds my soul. It's, um, something that I, for many years, I sort of talked myself out of doing the self-talk we listen to in our head. And, um, and then a, a personal event in my life, losing a good friend of mine, uh, to cancer really just jolted me out of my um, out of my story, and I decided to take that leap of faith and haven't looked back since. Um, it's completely changed my world. I've met the most amazing women who you know um, that I probably never would have met had I not, you know, taken that leap. And it was just I I, I knew my. My mission really was to create a place, hold a space for women to, to come and be reminded how important self-care really is to our overall balance in life. And, you know, we're here to really nurture, we're, we're, we're programmed to nurture everyone else in our lives, which is so fabulous. But if we deplete in that process, we're no good to anyone. So I wanted to really put that out there that the importance of taking care of ourselves, putting your mask on first. So to, to provide a place where people could come and, and re-nourish and, and um, kind of get back to their center. That was really the first and foremost mission. And then to your other point, um, it is so critical that women have an opportunity to be with other women. And, you know, I thought a lot about the fact that Years and years ago, women lived in cultures where they were all together, supporting one another, um, foraging for food, caring for one another's children. I mean, it was a tribe, and that really evolved and changed over time. And um, you know, now we live in a world where we're, there, we're social media and crazy demanding schedules, and I think we end up feeling a little disconnected sometimes and isolated. And so that concept of community really came forward in my mind that, that in addition to providing a space for renewal, that I wanted to create this container where women could really come together and connect in a meaningful way and be a part of a community, something bigger than themselves, because um, I just felt like, like that was really needed in the world. So tell me, so um, for people who aren't familiar with She Breathes, mm -hmm. It is a community, and 
but it's not, um, you know, it's not the center of town where people kind of just hang out. I mean, there's, you know, there's schedules and there's things to do. Tell us a little bit about how that works. How, like in a typical month or a typical week, what does it look like at She Breeds? Well, there's always something going on here. So, you know, we have, first of all, the, the studio is open to anyone. You don't need to be a member to come here. There's, there's literally so much to offer. Um, we do, so anyone can come at any time as a guest. We do offer two different kinds of memberships for people who want to sort of be a part more um, continually. One is for individuals who are just looking for that tribe, for a place where there are like-minded people that they can come and hang out with and take great classes. So that's available to, to anyone. We have members from 18 to 80 literally coming here every day, which makes it so cool. And then we have the collaborative membership which Susan you're familiar with and that's for women in in various kinds of professions who are looking for maybe a different kind of networking opportunity and that's called our collaborative membership and that's really um, women who might be solopreneurs or entrepreneurs or even have brick and mortar businesses but who want to come and gather and support each other in not only personally, but in a professional way. And those are the women who share their gifts in, in, in our courses and our programs that we offer here. So that's really how our offerings are fed, which is, I think, the most beautiful thing about it, because um, those women are invested in their own self-care, in those connections they're making with each other, but also they're able to give and share their special um, offerings and receive in return from others that come here. So the programs are so varied. We, and the, because the people who are members are, are come from such different backgrounds. We do have yoga and mindfulness and meditation and spiritual mediums and tarot circles for sort of that balance that women are seeking. We also have a lot of creative programs, um, art gallery showings. Uh, we have one coming up in early November where we actually are showing art that sort of has an African um, bent to it. And we're also bringing in an African dance performer. So we'll have a really fun cultural night. We do um, vision boarding and many, many different kinds of um, creative sort of expression. And then we also have a lot around writing workshops. Yes, our writing workshops. There's so much I can never write. Um, and then we also have a lot of support, you know, life, life coaching programs and health and nutrition and parenting and, um, you know, mindfulness for, for young people. We've, we did a, a group, a nine week group for women going through separation and divorce, which I thought was really um, well received. We're looking maybe at even some grief, um, grief support group. So the, the concepts are, there's just so much because of the great group of women who come here and bring all these expertises to the table. So did we do digital marketing with, yeah. with the one and only connector Susan Finn. So lots to offer. Well, what I have found is that it feels to me like, oh my gosh, this is what people have been looking for. We get it a little bit like when our kids are little and we get to have the play groups and we get to talk a little bit, right? And then, or we get involved in schools or whatever. But as, when your kids are older and you still want to learn and you still want to connect in new and different ways and new and learn something new every day from like-minded people, I think this is what people like me anyway are looking for. And I was having this conversation with another one of your members, Elvia, who I know is running the next, she's going to be this uh, spotlight at the next collaborative meeting. Yeah. She was here last night doing a tapping workshop. Oh, she was there oh, last yeah. night too. So the, our conversation was that being with, whether it's through the Facebook group or through the collaboratives or through attending any of the workshops, being with these people, these open-minded, lifelong learners who are opening up not just their minds, but their hearts and, and, and their, I, I want to, so spirit, let's say spirit and whatever that means to you. It, I find that I take everybody with me, right? So every time I'm anywhere and I'm thinking, I think, okay, this one would tell me to take a deep breath and calm mm -hmm. down, right? And this oh, one would say, hey, here's, this, here's some language I heard somebody say that resonated with me, right? So I bring everybody along with me 
And so whenever I go out in the world, in the big scary world, and I put on my power glasses and I go to a networking event, I'm bringing you and I'm bringing Kathy Green and I'm bringing Rachel and I'm bringing people from the group along with me to kind of support me so I never feel alone. And so I want to thank you for creating that space and for realizing the importance. <laughs> Because that's what it's about. It's, it's about the collective and the power of that collective. And, and, and it's so nice, isn't it, to be helping each other? It's like so organic. And you think of all these people and how, what, and how to connect them with others. And it's, it just it feels so much better when you're lifting each other up. And um, I think that's really a big part of, of the, the change and the mindset shift that we're looking to um, impact. It's, you know we're rising together and um, it's a lot more fun <laughs> to be doing that than to be feeling alone and isolated and um, competitive, you know, cause there's just no room for that. There's, there's so much for so many to, um, to share and, and to support. I love it. it. Makes me happy to hear you say that. Oh, absolutely. And, and then, our, then we are achieving our, our goal. You are achieving your goal. And I know that it's not easy. It's not easy to have a physical space to have to run and, and to keep up and to keep it up as beautifully as you do and to manage schedules and personalities, but you do it beautifully. Um, oh, thank as you. A connect oh, where was I going with this as a connector? I was going to say something. Oh, as a connector, what I love about the group is that if anybody needs anything, you get on there, right? And somebody will give you, you know, Oh, you should talk to this one, talk to that one. Or you just look at the directory mm -hmm. on the SheBreedsBalance.com website and you go onto the directory. The collaborative directory. You that? can search anything you need. Anything. Right, and you can search by, by category. Yeah, it is. It's great. And you know, the other thing that, that – oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to cut you off. The other um, thing that I find – a little unique about because you know I've been in many networking groups through my other corporate side of my my world but um a lot of times in some of those groups there can only be one realtor or one financial planner or one you know life coach and which I understand that but here it's so different because everyone who comes has their own unique flavor and their own um, way of of doing the work that they do. And so it's so great when you see, you know, five of your life coaches that are part of your community working together to offer something or, or you have a feng shui um, expert like Carrie connecting with, um, you know, what somebody else in the group, I, I have something coming up that I can't release yet, but that like, it's so cool because two different um, types of people that do completely different things in, in she breeze they come together and they offer something together so it's it's that co-creation that's I think kind of unique here and and the fact that nobody feels like um, they can't join because there's somebody else who does that work it's in fact becoming you know we're forming little um, groups of sort of best practice sharing and and they're learning from one another and it's, it's kind of cool how that works it's, it's pretty amazing. And again, as a lifelong learner, it's just fabulous to have that. And you know, I moved to Westport, it's an hour and 15 minutes and yeah. still my priority. Like nothing makes me miss that collaborative meeting if I don't have to. So We're so you. glad that you do come and you always bring guests and introduce oh it to uh, other well, having, you know, having been involved in the Women's Business Network for so yeah. many years. And that's when I stopped being the director of that is when I kind of was searching and found you and realized, oh, I don't have to create something else. Jennifer's already done it. You have a lot to do with creating what's going on here. Good stuff. Yeah. So it is I'm going to go through. You, sent, you were so good, and you sent me a lot of details, and we have a few minutes here. Yeah. Um, so a lot of the material that you had sent to me, right, because I'm always saying, write a blog, write a blog, and this is a beautiful one. Um, you, you, I asked you about tribe building, and you yeah. – I uh, basically said what you said earlier in our talk in today's disconnected and demanding world. How do we find a tribe? And, and um, you gave some suggestions on where to start. Yeah. And I know you wrote this a long time ago, but do you want to, I you can go ahead and start and then I'll let you know if you missed it. Okay. Um, so it's interesting because these were the kinds of things I was thinking about before I even started She Breeze and um, which maybe. Um, 
solidified for me how much something like this was needed. But I think, you know, it's really important to think about what it is you're looking for. Like, what what are you looking to fulfill? What's missing? Um, and really be honest with yourself because it really has to be what's in your own heart and not what somebody else is looking for. So I think to, to kind of spend some time thinking about what do I want? What do I need? What am I looking for? Um, and then really just seek out um, groups of people who share common interests and values. And, and I don't mean, it doesn't have to be politics or religion or cultural. It's really more about um, like-minded people that are you know, coming together and kind of have a shared um, way of, of being in terms of what their passions are. Um, I think if you can find that, and it takes time, right? You might have to go to some groups and go to different centers and take different classes classes just to kind of feel that out a little bit but you're you know you want to be with people that are going to lift you up um and i know one of the things that's so special about she breathes is everyone here has one another's best interest at heart really and and wants to celebrate everyone's successes when they have them but in addition they're there when things aren't going so well and maybe you need somebody to just help you kind of navigate through those waters. So I think looking for a place where you feel that um, support genuinely is just really critical. Um, also be authentic, you know, really don't worry about how you're coming across, just be who you are, um, you know, be true to your beliefs. What do they say? Your vibe attracts your tribe. I think that's so true. Um, you want to you want to go and, and just be who you are, so that you can really attract the kind of community that you're that you're seeking, and that matches up with those, you know, that what you're looking to to um, how you're looking, what kind of fulfillment you're looking for. Um, what was the other one? I guess just trust your instincts. You'll go to different groups. You'll some will resonate with you, some might not. Um, and I think just you're going to know when you when you find it. Um, you'll feel that connection that you're looking for and you'll know that you're home and you, you'll know you found your, your soul tribe, your sisters. And um, I think that that's, you know, what one person needs isn't the same for somebody else. So just being true to yourself and following your instincts and trying different things out and, and taking that leap and, and it'll all come together. Right. It will. I, but, but to the point you started with, it does sometimes put people in it. Like you got to, you got to get out of the house, right? Yeah, you do. Oh, that's <laughs> the is. hardest thing. Like it is hard because it's intimidating, you know, for some people to wear. Like you said, you got to be yeah. authentic. But it's like, what do I wear? What do I say? Oh my God, am I going to have to speak? It's not easy. So, you know, I go, I do a lot of networking, and I and I have tricks and tools that I've taught myself as a natural. Um, mm -hmm you know, naturally inhibited. And, and so I have these tricks um, to myself to, to be able to represent myself well with strangers. But the thing is that when you go, I mean, maybe the first or second one, you know, when you go there, you're kind of like, what is this place? What is this place? Mm -hmm. Then you realize, wow, there is nothing in intimidating here. it's so safe right it's safe and so if that's your if that's what's hard for you is getting out of the house because you feel like oh my god what are people going to think will they like me will i man you i mean we see people come in their sweats with their hair from the gym whatever you see people off you know coming from their office all dressed up in their nice suits it's yeah. and then after a while you don't see that and mm -hmm. you just see what they're saying and you see what they're feeling and it's i think so that's true. That's a big difference than when I go over to, you know, the Chamber of Commerce or, you know. Oh, that's good because that's what we're going for. We want people to feel, you know, no judgment zone here. Just come as you are, as they say, and, um, and get what you need. And, and it'll, it's, it's great. It's I um, so, th so much gratitude to you, Jennifer. Oh, and to you. To my, my new friend Barbara is here. And I wanted to give her a wave. Hi, Barbara. I'm so glad you made it. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Barbara, did you have any questions about She Breathes or for Jennifer and building tribes before I move on? 
Well, I love the idea of uh, your vibe attracts your tribe. Yeah. And um, I'm, going to, I'm going to really think about that and uh, um, think about how that, how that applies. Yeah. Um, I'm in the central Massachusetts area, uh, the Worcester area. And so I'm, I'm a ways from She Breathes, but uh, it sounds like such a wonderful, wonderful program. Thank you. Yeah, well, we'll be putting some more centers around uh, Massachusetts one of these days. Great. Well, and your setting <laughs> there is so peaceful looking where, where you're oh. sitting right now. So wonderful and peaceful looking. And, and, uh, Thank you. We, it is a beautiful, it's a beautiful space, honestly, but, um, and the art changes every month. So that's really fun mm -hmm. because we get to promote different artists photographers but it's really I think the energy here is from the women who come every day and and that's really what makes it unique and and special and we'd love to have you visit anytime you are you're out near this this area we'd love to welcome you I would love to do that thank you and Jennifer you had um, I like to uh, mention that you had a special office uh, offer for anybody who's listening to our chat today so if they listen to the recording um, and that you are inviting them to come as your guests to Absolutely. the next collaborative meeting. Yep. And that is, believe it or not, November 6th, which oh, is a very, really? very important day. Please yes. vote, everyone. Um, yes, it's 530, and we have Elvia Nina Rowe is here talking about... Um, Oh, I don't remember the title, but it's it's abundance and, and wellness and, and love with the angels. She's an angel communications um, professional. And she actually was here last night doing an, an uh, emotional freedom technique tapping circle, which was really beautiful. Um, so that will be fun. That's 530 on November 6th. And yes, absolutely. You're welcome to come as, as our guest. I would recommend, too, that anybody listening, if you're not already um, on the mailing list, um, go ahead on to shebreedsbalance.com, sign up for the, for the mailing list. And I will tell you that Jennifer is not spammy, so don't be worried about filling up your email. She only sends, here's what's happening. And I love them when I get them every week because I match them up to my calendar, see what I can get to and what I can't get to from, from this area. And so I would say definitely sign up for that mailing list. Get on to the... Um, the group is actually, is that for anybody or is that for well, only members? It's a public Facebook page and everything is up there as well. Awesome. So, so go on to the She Breathes yeah. Balance yeah. and Wellness Studio Facebook page. Absolutely. Absolutely. Awesome. We'd awesome. love to have you. This was, thank you, Jennifer. Thank for you. Taking, I know you have a super busy week. Thank and you. thank you for sharing your goods I'm with always, us. I always have time for you. Thank <laughs> you so much, Susan. I appreciate it. Thanks for coming, Barbara. We'll see you guys soon.